Hi Thinner Friends, it's Sydney from Sid Plans It Out. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be planning in my daily duo for the week of the 16th through the 22nd? Yeah. And I'm going to do something different for this week. I'm not going to use any sort of kit. I'm going to use... Ugh all of my stickers from Planner Kate, along with some new stickers. Finally got those AM and PM routine stickers. Um, this washi from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. And also this sticker book from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. This is her Charming Little Life sticker book. And I'm gonna use like these pages back here. I'm just gonna grab like a couple stickers, maybe like one sticker every day, maybe some florals, just kind of wing it. I don't know, we're gonna see what happens. And yeah, I really, I don't know, I felt like changing it up a little bit today. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to start with this page. Wow, she chunky up there. And I still have three months left in this. Woo! I almost feel like this planner should have been like a, or I almost feel like this planner should be like three months. Like give me four of them for the year, even though that also sounds ridiculous. So I don't know. <laughs> oh goodness. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a good day. It is actually Friday when I'm filming this. I know, shocking. Normally I film this on Saturday, but I um, agreed to, I think I wanna use one of these. Oh, these are all too bright, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, let's get something different then. I just don't want to use the planner font, literally for no reason. Oh, I don't think I've showed this yet either. I got really tired of the little binders that I had, so I just bought this binder at Walmart. No, at Target for like no dollars. I honestly, like it was so cheap. And then um, I just bought a thing of sheet protectors and yeah no dollars honestly it was it was a very cheap adventure and then i just separated out i have all of my planner kate stuff and my kits in here so functional weekly a daily section um monthlies and then like all of the extras and stuff are just in the back for right now at some point i'll get around to like doing something with them but not right now <laughs> okay i have this font or i have this page of Julie's plans font with numbers. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to use it today because why not? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just feeling, feeling like I want to do something different this week, which maybe it's because I feel like I was kind of in a weird funk this week and I don't really feel like I used this planner. Like I did, but I didn't, you know, anyone else ever feel that way? Like I used it, but did I really use it? That's, that's how I feel. All right. And I, you know, I love me some stickers, so. I will never be upset about using more stickers. I especially, there's something about a functional sticker to me like a day of the week sticker or like a like the AM and PM routine stickers or something. I just had major, major deja vu, you guys. Wow. That was so weird. Okay. Sorry. I don't, I don't even know what it was exactly being in this exact position, I guess. <laughs> that was super strange. Um, but yeah, there's something about a functional sticker that I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to always use that. Makes me happy. <laughs> All right, uh, what did I say this week started with? Do you remember? Cause I don't. 16? Yeah, <laughs> 16. Oh goodness. What? Oh, I thought I got it off the page. I did not. 16, 17. Oh goodness, I feel like I just have interrupted myself like four times from what I was saying, so I don't even know what I was saying anymore. 
Oh goodness. I feel like I, so I like, um, I talked about this at least once already, but, um, I agreed to go on a work trip for like another org in our company. I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, to help these people out. And I am a little bit like real, like it just hit me that like, oh, I need to like, do the things like I need to get it together and like really um I think I'm gonna try these mild liners for this page um baby pink cream and beige yeah uh so that like hit me earlier and I was like oh man I really need to like get it together so here I am doing this on a Friday when I never do this on Friday but I'm not mad about it um but it is just kind of like, oh, shoot. Like, like, oh man, I really need to like get it together here. So that's what we're, what we're doing. We're getting it together. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I really need to next week at work, like get that same level of like motivation that I have right now to do all of the planner things. <laughs> I need to really like put that into my work next week because it's just not been a thing. I, yeah, it's just not been a thing. And I don't, whoa, that got a little crazy. And I don't know why, like the motivation is just not really there. Like I want it to be done, but I don't want to do it, <sighs> which is, you know, not how it works. So I need to figure out, I think what I need to do next week is like make myself go somewhere else <laughs> during the day, at least a couple days, um, because it's just not working being in my apartment. And I'm thinking Monday and Wednesday and maybe Thursday. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So you know what? Let's just put it in the planner. We're just gonna make it a thing. We're gonna, do you remember when I was doing that for a while? I was like, hey, you're gonna go and do the things? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do this week. So what did I say? Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday? I'm trying to think, ooh, maybe not Thursday, actually. Well, I couldn't the afternoon. Yeah, it'll just have to be like after lunch, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't have to go back to the wound doctor anymore. My arm is finally healed. It's amazing. <laughs> I still have to wear a bandage for another like two weeks, but um, uh, because the skin is like really thin, but I don't have to go to the doctor anymore. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited <laughs> to not have to do it anymore. Literally. And it's so funny because obviously wound doctors, like they don't want you to come back, right? Like they want you to like be gone. Like they want it to be better. So <laughs> Both the nurse practitioner and the like front desk like nurse, she was. They were both like, "Bye, I hope I never see you again." And I was like, "Honestly, same. <laughs> Honestly, same." <laughs> because oh my gosh, I yeah, it was nine weeks, and that's just yeah. I just don't. I'm so glad that it's over praise and I'm allowed to shower now like get it wet showering so I can like take the bandage off and not worry about it and it just it makes me very happy <laughs> very very happy indeed oh I just remembered I'm pretty sure there's Royals games that I want to go to this week so I need to uh put those in here too there are oh that'll make baseball interesting on Monday but you know what it's okay 
like not working at home, but it's fine. Maybe it'll be more of like an afternoon thing then. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I definitely need to like not be in my apartment because it's just not working for me anymore. I'm like not getting things done and I need to. All right, on Monday, the game is at 640. And then on Saturday, the game is later, but I mean, it's at 610. It's not later than this, but the game is at 610, but they're doing, it's fan appreciation night. So if you get there like really early, you can go on the field and take pictures with the players. So that will definitely be me. Um, <laughs> so Saturday next week, honestly may just be a bust of a day in like getting things done wise. Um, but I am totally okay with it. <laughs> I am not mad about it at all. All right, let's finish setting this page up here. So we're gonna do, oh, I should have done the other color. That's okay. I like to separate this into like two lists for um, to do. Like one is work and one is personal things. So we'll do a list there. Let's just do this. There we go. I feel like that like color scheme wise makes sense because I used pink for like all of my personal things and then I used this like cream color for working not at home. So I feel like that color coding kind of works. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. And you know, just because we can, because we're using this, let's just go ahead and throw in a sticker or two. Like, we'll put this down here because it's cute and it matches, like, the colors. Uh, that might be it, actually. Just because I'm trying not to go, like, overboard. Like, I don't need a ton of stickers or anything. I forgot to put church in here. I always forget that. Probably just because it's, like, something that I do at this point. Like, I don't really think about it, but... Also, I guess I could technically put choir as well because that starts at, what time is that even at? 9.45? I don't know, something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> In all honesty. All right, let's dive in here. I think I'm gonna wait on this. I'm gonna like add this in later. I think that's the vibe. And we're just going to set this up with washi. I think I'm just gonna go all out here. I'm starting to be a little bit annoyed at how chunky this is at the top here, but I knew it was gonna happen. Like I have brought this on myself, so it is what it is. Where's, there it is. It's like, where's the ruler? So we're just gonna alternate these, I think. Or maybe we'll do, yeah, we're gonna alternate them, but not like maybe how you think. It'll make more sense when I actually do it. <laughs> I promise it'll make more sense. I just don't really know how to explain it at the moment. Not without doing it, so. It is what it is. Um, let's see, what else do I have to talk about? I don't really know. Baseball season is almost over. That's a little weird. I'm not, I'm not really um, prepared for that. Let's put these in the middle. I don't know why I keep putting them to the side. I could totally put them wherever the heck I want them. Also, let's, you know, I whited out the numbers, so we'll use the numbers. I haven't used any of the numbers yet. Um, yeah, baseball's almost over, which, like, normally in September, because the Royals have just not been good. 
they just haven't like I have to be honest about it um normally by this point I just don't care about like I'm done even pretending to pay attention to baseball but like the Royals have a chance of being of playing October baseball for the first time in I know I keep saying 10 years it's actually only been nine years um since we won the World Series but it feels like eternity um wow this is going so well I don't know why I'm doing that that way here we go make my life easier <laughs> goodness um so yeah it's weird to like even be paying attention to baseball still because normally I'm over it but I'm pretty excited about it I am a little sad we end the season on the road which is a little a little sad news but it is what it is and you know I'm not like you know I'll get over it so this these two games that I'm going to during this week are the last games that I'll go to this year but well Unless, of course, we make it to the postseason and we have home games, which I don't even know if we will. Um, but yeah, that's like a whole other beast that I'm just like not prepared to even think about yet. Because <sighs> your girl doesn't make postseason baseball money. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's just like, it's a weird, it feels... Time just feels weird right now because like what do you mean that um I'm still I still care about baseball it's September um okay so this is what I meant by like we're still gonna alternate them but like not really like the pages won't be the same so I guess technically like these two are not alternating but then it's not like every single page on this side is the flowers and every single page on this side is the books I just like changed it up a little bit Just, you know, keeping it a little interesting, at least. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a weird, it's a weird time. But can I just tell you, it makes me so happy to even be in a place right now where it's, like, possible for us to go to the postseason. Because that is crazy. I need to take this out. Um, yeah, the last time we went to the postseason was when we won the World Series in 2015. Haven't, haven't been back. So, um, it's a little bit wild to even be here, you know? Like, it's just, ah, uh, it's so weird. And if you don't like baseball or sports in general, you're probably like, oh my gosh, stop talking about it. But it's just, it's so exciting. <laughs> and it's so different, like, it's not... I don't know. Or if you live, you know, in a city where your team goes to the postseason all the time or are a fan of a team that goes to the postseason all the time, you're probably like, oh my gosh, it's not that cool. But it is. Like, <laughs> it is that cool. You know, I don't know. I'm just, I am very happy that this is even a thing. But it does... I already know, like, because it happens every, like, when we went to the postseason the last two, like, in 14 and 15, which were the only two times we'd ever been to the postseason in my entire life. Like, that's it. I was in college. Um, insane. But, um, during those years, I, like, never really got into football for the season because, we were playing baseball through October and then it's, I was just like, I don't even know what's going on with football right now. <laughs> it's a little different now than it was when I was in college because, um, my family and I play fantasy football now and we weren't before. So I have to pay like a little bit of attention, but it is, it just changes the vibe a lot of how football feels when your baseball team is doing well. And like, potentially go into the postseason. It's crazy times. All right, let's see. Let's start with this page and see what we're going to do here. All right, I'm done with this. Put that away. Put that away. And by away, I just mean not in my on my desk. 
not on my immediate desk. All right, let's just, I really think I'm just gonna keep these kind of simple. I don't know, it just kind of feels like the vibe. So let's do to-do. And then we'll do church. Make a little mild liner adventure here. Wow, those were so bad. And uh, honestly, I don't know if I need to write anything else. Like I could put in choir, but like I know that that's a thing that I'm going to do. Although I guess technically I know that um, I'm gonna get this dot marker. We're just gonna use this on all the days because I know that it it's gonna match. Um, I guess technically I know that church is a thing that I'm going to do also, but I don't know. They kind of like go together enough for me that I'm like, do I really need to worry about it? <laughs> Pretty much Sunday is going to consist of church and then football. <laughs> oh, and also baseball because the Royals play on this day. So, yeah. Oh man. That first C is a little wonky, but it's all right. All right, I think that's all that I have for Sunday, which is great. Let's go backwards here. Saturday. Ooh, I just realized that I kind of had some, eh. Like, I kind of had something due at work yesterday, which like I did, but also like, in full transparency, I could definitely have done it. Like I have all the information, I just forgot. Um, but also this person who sent out the email that was like, I need this, wasn't even professional enough to proofread their email and make sure that they had the date right. Um, so it kind of doesn't make me want to do what they say, you know? Like, uh, you want me to take time out of my day when I'm already taking time out of my day to like do this. Like this is what I'm doing with my life right now is making sure that this information exists. But then you want me to take time out of my day to fill out a form for you that is very unnecessary sounding just because or yeah, you want me to fill out this form, but you can't even take the time to proofread and make sure that you have the right, like that you have everything right in your email. Mm, that doesn't, mm, that doesn't really vibe for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It just like, if you can't even be professional enough to proofread your own email, I don't really, you're, it doesn't put you high up on my priority list, you know? And maybe that's petty, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'll definitely like do it because I have all the information available. I just totally forgot about it. Oh goodness, it's fine. And she never sent out like a reminder email or anything. So I really don't care. <laughs> like, yeah. I have, I guess in fairness to her, she did mark it as important and it is, you know, my job to do those things. But also if you care that much that it get games, oh geez. Um, if you care that much for it to like actually be done, I would think that you would send out a reminder. I don't know. I'm just being petty and annoyed because this whole adventure is annoying to me. <laughs> Ugh. It's like a thing that has supposedly, supposedly this thing has been done. Like this is the seventh time it's been done, but there's no collateral. Like there's nothing, there's nothing. 
And the one person who did tell me that they had some collateral sent me their collateral and it's awful. It's, it's the worst thing I've ever seen. It literally was entirely useless to me. Um, yeah, I've never been more disappointed in something. Like this person didn't even try to put this together. I don't know. It was bad. It was really bad. And I just, <laughs> I've been very annoyed because again, this is the seventh time this has been done. What do you mean? There's nothing put together and I have to put things together. Like that, that should not be how this is going. So yeah, I'm just a little salty in general <laughs> about this ask, <sighs> which I know it's my job, but like, come on. I just, sometimes it just blows my mind how like unprofessional and like, I don't know, there's just something that I'm like, mm. Also, I just realized that I stopped writing things down for work, like meetings, after Thursday for next week. Unless there's legit nothing on Friday, which is possible, but... Oh, yeah, there's nothing on Friday. Okay. I was like, um, I didn't put anything down. What am I doing? All right. Well, this page is really boring. It's definitely going to need some stickers. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop complaining about work now because I know being a little controversial and also I know I'm being a little a little bit whiny I know it's my job to just do the things but sometimes I just wish people had more brain you know anyone else anyone else feel that way sometimes I just feel like people don't have brains <laughs> and it gets some my nerves so yeah also I already told my boss that there was like no collateral that was worth my time for this adventure. And that's why I've been spending so long working on it. So he already knows. I'm just, you know, still annoyed. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, what else is happening in my life? Nothing, nothing really. Um, let's see, I've had some really interesting matches on dating apps. And when I say interesting, I mean, like, how do men like this even exist? Like, are you serious? Like, you gross? Like, what? I just, ugh. People. People. Ugh. I'm starting to, you know, I try to be positive. I really do. When it comes to dating apps. Because I know... Oh, you know what I did not grab? The meeting stickers. I knew I was missing something. Um, because, you know, that's just, you have to sort through all of the, what is it? You have to kiss a bunch of frogs before you find your prince or whatever. Like, I get that. But also, ugh. <laughs> Sometimes there's just, that's just the only feeling that there is about it because you you and I just find it really hard to believe that there's nobody out there honestly I find it kind of impossible that there's nobody out there that feels like has the same like beliefs about things that I do like that mm, that feels a little a little bit insane actually and like that's definitely not possible because I meet people like that they just are always already in a relationship or married uh, so I know that they exist but just not for me you know at this point at least so it's just one of those things where I just don't understand how it's possible sometimes it just it just blows my mind dating apps will show you literally like I have come to realize dating apps will literally show you the worst of the worst when it comes to humans <laughs> like not I can't even just say when it comes to men because 
I know that there are women on dating apps who are equally awful, but it's just crazy. Like, why are you on this app if you clearly, like, don't seem to want, like, clearly seem to not actually want anything, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, it just seems silly to me, but what do I know? <laughs> I'm just out here in the minority of humans my age, it seems. <laughs> Ugh. It's really, it was a really interesting shift for me in my brain when I realized that um, I have reached the age where I need to look and see if someone is wearing a wedding ring. Like, see when I see an attractive man. I have to see if they're wearing a wedding ring or not to see if it's even like worth any effort. <laughs> like when, what, when did that happen? When did I get that old? Like ex what, excuse me, what? So that's a really fun, um, really fun thing. <laughs> did anyone else, I mean, I feel like unless you were single older, you probably, have not had that experience. Like it's a very, I don't know. It feels to me like it's a very niche experience because I know a lot of people who are in relationships or married or like engaged or whatever. Um, so to me, it feels very niche to be like the single person, but it's just, it was when I realized that I was at that age where I had to like look and see like is there somebody out there like that's attached to you <laughs> uh yeah that made me feel like wow this is a weird um thing don't like it <laughs> don't like it at all but you know that's what happens when you're 30 and single it's that you have to Pay attention to things like that and it was a weird realization when I was like oh dang definitely old enough for that to be like a must do kind of thing very strange very strange indeed and I feel like like I said it feels very niche because I feel like like unless you're single in like after like 25 Cause I feel like I didn't start like really doing it until I was like 25. Like, did I maybe do it a little bit before that? Yes. But I don't feel like it was as much like a thing that came to my head right away until I was like 25. And then it was like, Oh, really, really have to look at that first. <laughs> oh goodness. So yeah, if anyone else had that experience, please let me know. I'm very curious. Or maybe it's just like, I'm too aware of things. I don't know. Sometimes I do feel like I was telling one of my friends the other day, I was like, I don't think that going to therapy, like, I don't know that a therapist could tell me anything about myself that I don't already know, because I feel like my biggest problem in life a lot of times is that I'm like too self-aware. Like I, I know myself too well and that causes me problems. <laughs> so yeah, one of those things where I'm like, I don't really know that um, therapy would really do me any, anything because I feel like I, I know myself probably more than you should know yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Like, and like, I understand, I like, because I feel like I'm very, I'm a very empathetic person as well. So it's like a, maybe that's why, because like I can read other people's emotions really well. So I understand those same emotions in myself, or maybe it's the other way around. Like I understand them really well in myself so I can see them in other people. I don't really know. It's a crazy, crazy time though. Let me tell you, it's wild.
It's wild. Um, I think what I'll probably do is I'll go through, not right now because uh, that's too much. I'll go through, I'm going to stick with the same like color coding. If you've probably noticed that I did here. So like personal things will be in the pink work will be in like the cream color. And then I guess I did bring out this other color and I didn't do anything with it really, but that's okay. It did remind me though that I need to mark my brother's birthday, which is just like, how, how are you going to be an adult? I'm gonna come back to writing on that because it's, yeah, it, it works better to write on top of the mild liner after it has dried when you make like multiple layers like that. Um, but what I'll probably do, what I was saying about my color scheme, color coding, is I'll go through and I will just make all of these dots pink. Um, but not right now. Also, I probably won't be working all the way until five on Monday because there's a giveaway on Monday and I want it really bad. It's a really cool t-shirt. So yeah, I probably won't be working all the way until five, but that's okay. We'll just leave it that way on here. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I like, I've really enjoyed the like color coding thing recently. So it's, I'm down to stick with it. I hate this meeting from 12 to one. It's the worst. It's what happens when you work with people on different coasts because the people who run this meeting are on the West coast or no on the East coast. So it's actually after lunch for them, but it's like the lunch hour for us, which I don't usually eat at noon anyway, but I just, the concept of a noon meeting is just so rude. I feel like <laughs> it just feels rude. I don't know. All right, let's mark this Royals game. I'm gonna do what I did for the other one. Did I write the right time on the other one? I don't know. Oh, my pen is skipping. I love that for me. Why? Why you skip? Okay, that was weird. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, uh, so I'll go through and make all of these pink on all of the days. Again, not during this video because that would be torturous um, to make you sit through that. But I like to color code. So like the personal things will be in this pink. And on this to-do list, I only put personal things and then like work to-dos I put within like my work day box over here. So that works well there. What else do I need to do? Oh, right in my brother's birthday. I'm honestly just so shook by this. <laughs> and I know I keep saying it, but he's, he's the baby. So it's just, it's like extra shocking. All right, I think I'm done. Oh no, I didn't put on any stickers. We're gonna find one sticker for every day just to like put down here because I'm not using this space like at all. So let's do it. I think we're gonna put this sticker on Monday. No, uh, mm, yeah, I was like, let's put it on Monday because it's like, you know, that honestly, this is ideally how I would like to start my week, just like waking up early enough to like enjoy sitting and like just relaxing before my day starts. So, all right, we'll put that one there. Okay, those are cute. And then on Wednesday, 
Let's do, hmm. I kind of like the hanging plant. We're gonna hang it from here. And the stack of books. I was trying to see if there was anything that like made me think of my brother. There's not in this section of pages, so. <laughs> That's fine. Let's see. Let's do this other stack of books for Thursday. With the candle. And then Friday, we'll do some coffee. Actually, let's put that up there. Coffee and we'll do this hanging plant. There's like no rhyme or reason to this. It's just whatever sticker like stands out to me and I wanna use it. <laughs> and then Saturday, I want to use this. Is that how my Saturday is going to be? I mean, no, because I'm going to be at the Royals pretty much like the entire afternoon, but that's fine. And then Sunday, let's do a book and I'll do this hanging plant. Because like I said, the vibes on Sunday are just to not do anything. <laughs> it makes me happiest. Okay, I have a feeling this video is way long. So thanks for sticking with me. Let's see. Okay, you know, it's not as bad as it could have been. But um, I really like how these turned out. I like that they're like calm and relaxing and I just think that they're they're gonna be nice for this week and hopefully they'll like get me to actually pay attention to my planner this week. So that's gonna be all for me in this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.